Hi, and welcome to Majestic.Cloud. My name is Laszlo, and today I'm going to show you a quick demo on how to install Apache on EC2 with Systems Manager using resource groups. So if you want to run a custom command or script on an EC2 instance, you can also use AWS Systems Manager to do that. There is no need to log into the instance using SSH. In this demo, we will not even provision an SSH key for the instance, so logging in with SSH will not be possible. While we are using this now to install Apache, you can run almost any command and script this way, making it easier to administer a high number of instances, and because we have no way to SSH into the instance, this makes our setup a bit more secure. But let's see how we can do this. We will start uh, by creating an IAM role. So I will go to IAM. We will need this role um, for the instances which uh, we want to install Apache 2. So let's go to roles and let's create a new role. And here we select AWS service and EC2, then we go to permissions and here we need to attach a um, um, policy which is Amazon EC2 role for SSM, this one. So let's add this. Here let's go to review role name S SSM for EC2, for example. Let's click on create role. So this is now done. I will go also to EC2 now and launch two instances. Launch instances. We will choose the Amazon Linux 2 AMI, this is fine. T2 Micro is fine. Here I want to launch, let's do three instances. And um, I want to uh, choose the IAM role I've just created, SSM for EC2. Then this should be fine for the moment. Let's go to the next step. We'll leave this by default and we will add a tag. Let's do name um, EC2 SSM instance. Okay. Uh, we'll need this uh, tag later so it's important to add the tag. For the security group we will create a new security group but we will remove here the SSH rule. Let's name it EC2 SSM. And we'll add a rule only for HTTP traffic. So this is fine from anywhere. And as you can see, we have no rule for SSH, so SSH will be blocked. It even says in the warning, you will not be able to connect to this instance as the AMI requires port 22 to open and have access. Okay, let's review and launch. Here where uh, it asks us to specify a key pair, we will select proceed without a key pair. So it again warns us that we will not be able to connect to the instance. This doesn't matter. So click on launch instances and our instances are launching. Now, um, while these instances launch, we will go and uh, create a resource group. So here we type resource groups and tag editor. And this opens in a new tab. Let's go here and create a resource group and this will be tag based. And for resource types, we will choose EC2 ins 
instance like this and we will want to add here the tag which we created a bit earlier for the EC2 instances so EC2 SSM instance and we we'll click on the preview group resources and we see the three instances that are launching right now okay we'll need to type a name so SSM instances will do and let's create the group okay now let's go back and see what our instances are doing they have launched uh, at the moment they have nothing installed on them so we would not uh, be able to see anything if we open the instance so let's copy the dns name paste it in and it should time out because there is no apache running right now on this instance refuse to connect so yes now let's go to systems manager and in systems manager we want to go down here where we have documents and I will um, create a new document here click on own by me and create a document and uh, we will choose here command or session so the name will be install apache and uh, the document type will be command document and here I will want to select YAML this is a YAML template and I will copy my uh, script this is my uh, script which I uh, posted here on my uh, github account and we, this will be linked to the um, uh, description of the video so I will copy this and explain what it does so this is a yaml file which defines the commands that will run will be run by systems manager so basically this is the important part the run command which will uh, do a yam update install a the apache service and start it and then enable it and also will create an index html file uh, with this initial uh, uh, message so let's create the document document is created and uh, this is it now we, we can um, open the document and uh, run command and let's run it so I've clicked it and I will need to specify where uh, what kind of instances um, will um, will this uh, com command run on so I will choose the resource group and I have only one resource group the SSM instances I uh, created earlier and um, here we leave everything on default I will uncheck this uh, enable an S3 bucket because I don't want the output to be put there and I click on run and you can see that um, this runs here and um, until it finishes I will pause the video and come back later okay so the scripts finished uh, running let's um, go back here our instance and click on reload and you can see that it responds it has that text that I've uh, configured with that command so welcome to instance da -da -dum, running Apache installed with AWS systems manager so this is exactly the text I've configured with my script and this is just one instance but if we go to the other instance also copy the DNS name and open it we should have the same thing here 
you see we have it so this way we installed uh, Apache in one uh, go with uh, on three instances so basically all three instances had this script run on them and uh, the Apache service was installed so this is how you can run multiple um, uh, commands on multiple EC2 instances in a secure way without having to uh, log into them and also you can do it on a very high number of instances so this is it for today I hope you liked the video if you did please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel I hope to see you soon with another video have a great day